Hey everybody, here I am with Descript 3. This one might be a little bit more brief. Basically, I'm just finishing up. So, you see here my timeline and plans. I have some things marked out and some things highlighted. Basically, I am constantly updating this, so it seems like it's always halfway marked out. But um, I'm still plugging in some scenes. I have a new breakdown. Um, but this one isn't actually even fully up to date, so this stuff right here is already done, scene one and a lot of scene two. I am going to be taking out a 2.5 scene. I just don't think it's necessary, and I have enough for the time, I believe. And I'm going to bump up the final text part and then remove scene three and just make the resource shelf the 2.6. And I think that'll make my editing a little bit easier. Um, I have a couple of cosmetic things to fix. So like my little hamburger icon on one of my pages is a little off, not centered. I'll do a big sweep of that later. I'm finishing up my TV section. I have some news resources and some buttons that I need to flesh out. Um, but this one right here is sort of important. Um, and let me know if you have any suggestions, but some of my scenes have my little icons that you hover over to get just a quick blurb of information, and some of them work really well, but then some of them don't. So what will happen is I'll have it set up, and it'll basically be encompassing the entire icon, but you have to have the cursor over like just the most specific spot to get the information to pop up as a hover, but it's so glitchy, it's like just really not user friendly all the time. Some are, some aren't, and I haven't figured out why that is. So I've thought about changing some to clicks instead of hovers, but you know, the whole purpose of clicks and hovers are different. Like this, when you move the cursor and you're not hovering anymore, that information is gone. So you're not needing the user to click exit or to return. And so I'll have to add in those steps. So that's what I'm working on, and you'll see that in a moment. Um, but yeah, so just basically, it's modern day Mango Street, and the theme seems to be representations, belonging, and identity. And it's a whole novella, so I can't at all capture every single chapter. So I've selected some that I think are really important, and it's just a tiny glimpse into the story in an interactive way. And so you're welcomed at the very beginning, and then there's the map, and each point on the map are these items, and then the culmination for the resource shelf. And so it is quite simple, but it has taken quite a bit of design. So here's what it's looking like right now. Now, these are those three stops, and I'm going to have the resource shelf here, the Cinderella scene here, and the final chapter of the House on Mango Street here. And that'll all lead into here for the roadmap. And as you can see, it's just getting to where it's branching out more and more. But I'll show you a quick preview for sake of time. Get it to load up. I did do away with the tracker. I wasn't able to do that. And the only true animation I have is when the map screen comes on. I removed the click for this and it'll automatically take you in after a few seconds, as you can see. And so we've got this background of the city as before, just a sign that gives you some basic instruction until you meet Esperanza. Cause you know, Esperanza wouldn't just be on the street corner for you to meet. So we're gonna go meet her intentionally. And this is the interactive map. You click on one, got that little bit of animation here, a little blurb about what that section is. We go and meet Esperanza. I reconfigured the icon page a bit. These are the ones that a user would see the most. This one will always be at the top right if it's there. And so that's why I put it there and you see I need to edit that a bit. This is my little person subbing for Am Esperanza. And then this is the explore icon. And as you can see, it is clickable. 
And so here we've got Esperanza's little bio. She's in the city, very basic layout, a little bit about her. It does not matter what order you click on things for the information, it, it's all from the same place. So here's where you can see I got this weird little glitchy bit, but this is an excerpt from the actual chapter, My Name, and so it talks about her name and it requires you to take a minute or two to read, which I just think is essential, um, but this is to prevent you having to read the whole book. Let me move on. See where my little hover actually works well? Set during the 1980s, and then this one pops up the rest of that excerpt from my name with a little bit of research information here. Okay, so then we move along, we come back to the map, and we go to number two, like we did number one, and we go, and this is just what she pictures with a white picket fence. You hover, and I did decide to put the whole chapter here. I, it's the very first one. It's often the only one that's taught, and I think it's essential because she really breaks down why Mingo Street isn't what she imagined. And then you come over to where it, what it would have actually looked like, and you've got this little bit of information about it being based on Cisneros' actual home, and then this one, it's just more down, down in the Mango Street, like not going up, but going down. And then you move back on, and you can see I haven't gotten all those done, but I do have the go back trigger set. And so you come over to TV, because I haven't synced it all up perfectly yet, and I made this little room, which I'm proud of, um, and so you have another glitchy icon. So there's the text about media perpetuating stereotypes, which will prevent someone from feeling like they belong. This icon worked earlier. Okay, so I need to work on that one. And then each of these are buttons, and I have to click exits for them. So I'm still finishing up this scene and then the last view. And it's not taking quite that long to do each scene, but I just didn't get it done in time for this death script. But here's a glimpse at where I'm at right now. And I plan on finishing up a little bit more before I go out of town. I'll be out of town July 7th through the 11th. And so I won't be able to work on anything else until I get back. But it'll be done by the deadline. Thank you for listening. And let me know if you have any questions.